we all know the benefits of backing up our data regularly and the consequences of failing to do so. Desynchronize is a program which can do that for us automatically and I'm going to show that how this program works right now. And we'll start just with a basic setup. The first time that you're in the program, it will look like this. And we should have check marks in the following locations. Uh, copy only newer files, create folder if it does not exist, and do not delete any file. Now this particular option right here, do not delete any file, is uh, very important to set because that is the difference between making backups and doing a mirror. And uh, if you have a file mirror, then uh, that means that if a file name is progressively changing, then you are not keeping those progressive changes. You're only keeping uh, one uh, exact copy of your current source. Uh, and to explain what I'm talking about here, I will just make a demonstration. This program works with uh, sources and destinations uh, with one-to-one -one pairing. And to add our first source, I'll click over here on the left-hand side and put in the address of the folder. We'll do the same thing for destination. And then make sure we have a check mark so that this is an active uh, request for the program. And what it's going to do is copy files from my source to my destination. And it won't delete any files. Let's make a file really quick. I'll make a text document and I'll call this one.text. Now we'll go over here and click on synchronize. Down here we can see uh, that something happened. It actually keeps a log of this activity. If I go to my destination folder here, now I see my file. And now I'm going to rename the file to 12.txt. We'll synchronize again. Now, uh, in the destination folder, we can see that we have the old file, 1.txt, and the new file, 12.txt. Now, if I decide that uh, I don't want to be doing backups, which is what I just demonstrated, and instead I just want to be mirroring my source, then I would remove this check mark. And the next time that I synchronize, it's going to delete everything uh, that does not match my source. So my source only has one file. My destination will have only one file. Now, I'm going to show you how to uh, have this program sync in real time, uh, which is very similar to using a RAID array. Now all I have to do is just place a check mark over here and I'm done. The service is now running and if I make a change to the file name, I'll now call it 123.txt. Immediately you'll see the same in the destination folder. Now I did have to refresh that. Let's take a look again. I update the source and my destination gets updated. It takes just a few seconds for that to happen. So it's almost in real time. I make my change over here and any second now, there it is. It's important to take note that there's also a check mark over here uh, next to auto start as service. And what that is going to do is the next time that I start up my computer, 
this program will run automatically and it will run with the settings that I gave it. So I now have a real-time mirror from my source to my destination and I never have to think about it because desynchronize takes care of it for me in real time. Uh, desynchronize does not uh, it does not minimize itself if you close it. So that means if I click over here, that stops the service entirely and I don't want to do that. So I just minimize and when I do that, it will go down to the system tray. And to define what I mean by system tray, I'll minimize it now. And instead of going over here and appearing in my taskbar, it's down here in my system tray, which is over here. So if I want to bring this back up, just double click. The final thing that you can do with the desynchronized program is use bi-directional synchronization. That means that each folder has the capability to act as a source folder. So something which is in the destination folder can appear in what would normally just be my uh, source folder. So I'm going to turn that on. And I'll just make a copy of this file. And we can see that it copied from my destination or my backup folder over to my active folder. And uh, if you're going to be using that, then uh, be sure that you're protecting yourself uh, by having the option of only copying newer files. On the uh, surface level, this is a very simple program. Um, it's, of course, obviously very useful uh, for just uh, doing backups, but it can also be very useful for sharing. Uh, for example, uh, I don't trust the uh, server on my LAN, which we use for sharing uh, our work with our team members. Uh, sometimes if you copy a file to the server, it'll come back as corrupt later on. So I copy from my local hard drive, that's where I do all my work, to the server. That gives my coworkers uh, the ability to see what, they're, uh, see what I'm working on because that's copying to a share folder. And then in addition, I also like to work at home from time to time. So I also copy from uh, my working folder over to another folder which is um, using the Dropbox service. And I covered how to use Dropbox in a separate video. What Dropbox does is it gives you a local folder that synchronizes everything that you do to the internet and it also allows you to uh, establish file sharing with uh, any number of people just by defining their email address and you can give them folder level uh, permissions uh, and uh, the permissions can be as uh, simple or complex as read only or also editing privileges. Uh, so in other words if you take the desynchronized program uh, and stack it with other resources and uh, tools such as Dropbox or share folder on your uh, local area network, uh, then you're able to get even more use out of this. Of course, uh, the most important thing you can do and the most simple thing right now uh, to benefit yourself is to start backing up your important folders in real time to another hard drive. Uh, by using desynchronize uh, instead of a RAID array, you're going to be saving a lot of time and money uh, because your hard drives no longer are limited to being exactly the same size or having 
exactly the same content on them. You can choose to back up only what's relevant to you.